Good morning everybody and welcome to our next day on this bright beautiful sunny day of our meander through March madness. My name is Laura Serrant and I am an inclusive practice specialist and a leadership development coach. Well today as, I, as we work through my musings, my reflections and my thoughts from 40 years of work we reach my, one of my favorite words. And that word links to the letter S. And the word is silence. Now, those of you who may know me may think, actually, silence is probably the last thing I would associate with you. Actually, you know, one of the things I've been known for the most from a very young age is actually speaking. But through my 40 years, I've become to I've come to recognize and value the importance of silence. Now, if we think about the dictionary, then silence really and in most people's thoughts means the absence of sound or the absence of noise, not speaking. It could even mean to suppress or prevent the expression or prevent other people speaking, to silence them. But for me, silence is one of the key strengths and the key opportunities that we have as human beings. And certainly as leaders and business owners, the ability to listen and hear silence is key to actually identifying where we could make the most impact and where our actions or our decisions are not quite working. Let me try something with you. I want you to answer this question. What sound does silence actually make? Let's listen. Shh. Well, what did you hear at that point? For me, I heard the wind outside the window. And I even heard it rustling slightly through the chimney of the open fireplace. I also heard the birds sing. And I was conscious of my own breathing. Because, as you see, silence is very rarely actually silent. When we stop contributing to the noise around us, we can hear the sounds that were there anyway. Because silence never actually creates the sound. It just allows you the space to hear. And not only the space to hear the sounds outside of yourself, but the thoughts and feelings and to tap into how you really feel inside yourself. And that is the power of silence that I have discovered over the years. Silence is never truly silent. Silence speaks. But in speaking, what does silence actually tell us? It tells us about what we need to work on. It tells us about the things that exist, as I said already. We've all been through the last few years of the COVID-19 pandemic. And certainly in the lockdown times, the eerie silence of the streets allowed us to hear the animals, the birds, and many of the things that we didn't even think existed within our urban world or more so within the countryside. But we also heard other things. In the silence of COVID-19, we heard the sounds of our own societies. We heard the sounds of our own businesses and we heard the sounds of ourselves. In that space emerged more understanding about the inequity and inequalities of the world. 
COVID-19 was an unequal opportunities period in our lives. It showed who suffered the most, who was the most isolated when unable to move freely. It showed who actually struggled most with the virus, who already had weaknesses or de de deficiencies in their access to services and resources, and were even more cut off by our ability not to move freely. It also showed in business where we had stretched ourselves or business owners had stretched themselves beyond what they could m imagine. We were astounded to see not just small businesses and individual people struggle in this time, <clears throat> but also large organisations which crumbled, which shook and some fell. And for ourselves, we recognised whether our own homes were sufficient places where we were happy to stay in 24 hours a day. We also discovered in the silence some positive things. We discovered how the things that we had thought were essential, the noise and the movement we felt were essential for our communities were not that essential. We discovered home working. We discovered shops, small businesses, networks and social capital, social support just around the corner. For some of us in areas we'd lived for 20 odd years. But we also discovered the power of silence. And one of the true powers of silence is indicating what we choose to speak about, what we choose to act on as a result of that, and what stories we choose to tell about ourselves. Silence is not a weakness, but actually can be a great strength for all of us. The lioness and the lion on the plane listened consistently. Even in their sleeping moments, they are open to the sound of any change. I wonder what sounds of change you are open to in this period at this time. Martin Luther King once said, in the end, we will not remember the words of our enemies at times of struggle, but the silence of our friends. What are you remaining silent about for yourself, for your business or for society? Silence provides us with the opportunity to see and to hear what needs to change, what needs to address and what we need to make us wholly human. We all have voices and we all have stories to tell. But if we do not use our voice and tell our stories, people will speak for us and at best they will mistell our stories and at worst they will render us, our society and our peoples silent. Shh.